Hello Capricorn, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and we're getting ready to do a general reading for the month of July for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's see, we're going to jump right in. The cards want to speak. Dear Spirit, oh Capricorn, bring a gentle touch. Alright, so let's see what else we have here. There we go. Scarab Beetle Spirit, magic works through you. Well, we have a lot of magic going on. Sagittarius had the magician, but they had all of these crazy manifestations. And it looks as though you have magic also. So I like it. Being gentle, magical, could be a very sweet month for you this month of July. I feel as though you're going to take time out to smell the roses, so to speak. Let's see. We have Brown Bear Spirit. Take time out! I can't make this stuff up, right? I can't make it up. So you do take time out to simply enjoy life, kick back, beautiful energy. Now we're going to go ahead and do the overall Celtic Cross, and I will show you the cards, and then I'm going to give you a table shot as we clear out, okay? So let's see here. What do we have here? We have... what? The energy coming into the reading is devil energy. Capricorn, there you are in your reading. So, we'll see what else. Okay, devil energy. Devil in a red dress energy. Ooh, temperance card. It looks as though you may be very, very focused on a reunion. For some of you, you may be dealing with a situation in which you're trying to negotiate a business deal. The devil card means tough, tenacious, difficult, toxic. However, it is crossed by temperance. So that brings some reasonableness to the situation. The judgment card, we get, so we get Sagittarius energy, Capricorn energy, okay? And then the judgment card is very much about making a decision. For those of you who have gotten a divorce, it looks like it could have been a tough go. You could have had a very tough cycle in which you were trying to come to an agreement. Some of you, somebody out there, just only one or two, I'm sure will have that as a storyline. But it does speak to the fact that whatever is going on in your life that feels like devil energy, that just feels so frustrating, is going to start to smooth out this month. I'm so happy for you. The judgment energy is Scorpio. It's about releasing that which doesn't suit you and it looks like you're very comfortable doing that. The Eight of Coins tells me in the recent past that you're up to something new. Uh, looks like some of you may be learning a language. Some of you may be um, planning on college or going back to school or honing a skill, okay? The Knight of Cups is your crown. You are going to be very sentimental this month. That's Pisces energy. Very sentimental. And it looks as though you're going to have a family vacation. You may go back to like a, a family a historical, like a family home. You could be going to see grandparents. You could also be going to like a summer retreat. You know how some families do that every year. They go to the lake or they rent a lake house or they have a lake house. So it looks as though for many of you, you're going through a period of time of reigniting love, you know, coming through a period of healing. It does look like relationship is very much a focus of your energy this month. The Four of Swords is, for those of you who have been feeling under the weather, you will feel better. Okay, Four of Swords, beautiful healing energy. There we go. Okay, so let's see in the, in the, the energy of those people around you or of the surroundings. The Knight of King of Cups. I really feel many of you will be going near the water. The King of Cups energy is really quite stunning. Look at that. This person is big enough, bold enough, stable enough, even with their feet in the water, to really uh, stand the test of time. So what I'm seeing is that you have a really strong support system around you. And Scorpio energy, once again, with Scorpio energy, devil. I feel as though many of you may have gone through a very tough period in a marriage, a relationship. I feel as though it's working out for you and that you're healing at this time and that you're going to give 
you're going to take the time. Your fear was that somebody would leave, okay? So the Eight of Cups is leaving, but it's a fear or a hope, but I'm reading it as a fear um, because that's in position nine on the Celtic. And your outcome, give us some outcome cards for Capricorn. We have Nine of Wands, willing to do the work, but you're taking a break. Good. And also, the Eight of Cups can be a vacation. I will say it straight up. <laughs> I think you want to get away. But she's wearing this really, really cute little sort of uh, ladybug outfit, so I feel there's some whimsy here. Again, Eight of Cups can be a vacation. I know because I was in the travel industry and it always came up in the readings when people were traveling. So it wasn't always about leaving somebody or something, you know. Some of you are willing to sort of just, you're putting what I do see you leaving behind is a lot of intense emotion. Like leave the desk full of the work. It'll be back. It'll be there when you get back. Oh, look at this energy. The, the ne next to the Nine of Wands is steady advancement forward with the Chariot card, honey, I'm home. Some of you may be finishing or somebody here looks like they're completing building a home. And it looks like it was a little bit. You're ready for a new start. So you have full energy. I love this. Okay. So we're going to clarify. I'm going to give you the table shot and we'll dig into this with more detail. have a dragway evidently out front. <laughs> Welcome to Chicago. The streets are kind of crazy. Okay. Let's see. Why do we have the Capricorn, the devil energy here? Ah, uh, okay. So it does look like there's been some player energy here coming in. That is Sagittarius energy. Um, what's temperance mean here? Three of Swords. Okay. So for some of you, it looks like there's been a divorce or an extramarital affair or a relationship that has you've decided to leave. For some, for some of you, you will have worked through this trouble and it looks like you're taking a vacation and you're trying to get your relationship back on track. Take it as it resonates. The story is there's two stories here for you. We do get you being very strategic, Capricorn, very strategic, Aries energy. You are making sure that things are going to be done correctly. You're in this energy of playing for keeps. You want to solidify your foundation. And we're getting Hierophant. Okay. So for many of you, the Judgment card, when we see with the Hierophant, we do see um, the Judgment or the release of a marriage, the final Judgment of marriage. So part of what I see happening, not everybody here, though, is getting a divorce, at, obviously, because you're not all married. But many of you will work through these difficulties and make the decision, and you'll be able to rebirth by taking some time out, you'll be able to rebirth and get a new beginning on a relationship. This is very much about finding a life balance. And what you're learning here in this particular reading, Capricorn, is that you need to be more playful. You can't be, you can't be a workaholic to the point that it separates you from your family. Because sometimes the other person, a third party situation can be a career or somebody who is a workaholic. So it can be toxic in that way, and that's what I'm seeing. The people that you love feel very much left out in the cold whenever you're you know, working on a new project. Again, you're finding better balance. That's what I'm getting here. Finding better balance. The Nine of Cups is Pisces energy, and it's so sweet. It's so loving. It's bringing somebody flowers. Again, trying to illuminate, you know, and pull this relationship out of a dark spot that I think for many of you it's been in. Sometimes I have people say, Donna, will they ever change? You know, will they ever change? And this shows a beautiful willingness to save a relationship, to make something stable, to come through a very rough period of time, and to transform energy. See? We have romantic energy again. We have devil, devil, the moon. So that which was hidden is very toxic. For some of you, you know, this might be something you suspect right now, 
but again, I'm getting the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful energy. The Wheel of Fortune is clarifying the Four of Wands, which is buying a home, getting married, going on a honeymoon. So I feel, and for some of you, this can actually also mean that you may have delayed wedding plans for the pandemic, that you're just now sort of getting back on track. And uh, it, it may have cost you some money to do that. Four of Swords is clarifying the Four of Swords. What do you know? Isn't that crazy? So it's so important that you take time out to heal, to rest, to rejuvenate. Why is the King of Cups energy here for you at this time? Four of Cups. Capricorn, you're feeling bored. You're feeling very bored. Um, you feel you're taking things for granted. That's not the best energy. You know, it looks, yeah, judgment card. See, judgment again. I'm getting that, again, for some of you, this just resonates so strongly with making a final decision about a relationship and or the exploration of if you're going to make that decision. For many of you, it's just the opposite. It's like coming out of a bad time and moving into a really beautiful time of manifestation. Why is the Eight of Cups here for our beautiful Capricorns? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Nine of Wands and the Nine of Wands, see? So you have fire in your belly. You really, you really do know. You also know the pitfalls. So for a new beginning in a relationship, you understand that it's not as it appears. When we look at the full card, this particular full card is important because we have an alligator, a dragon. I don't even know what the creature is down here. Looks like an alligator to me. And the tail of that alligator has a flower on it. And so that's the only thing that's being looked at. So what I'm seeing here is that for those of you who are in a relationship, the troubles in the relationship that may have resulted in this toxic energy or maybe an extramarital affair or a third party situation or just a relationship that has left both of you almost wanting a divorce, the, it goes very deep. It's not, it's not just an affair. It's not just an affair. Okay, so let's see what we have here now. So we have the Nine of Wands energy. We have it twice. You're being very, very self-protective. You have fire in your belly. You want to fight for this. And let's see what the energy is around. Okay, the Hanged Man. You're not, you're taking action. You're not going to leave this to chance. You're willing, you know, the Five of Swords means you want to put an end to a very tough cycle. You want to manifest more calm and more happiness. Uh, you also want the sadness to go away and apologies will be given and received. We also get, for those of you with children, you know, there is a motivation, but there's great happiness. So what I'm seeing is that at this point in your life, you are rebuilding, you're remaking, you're reworking, uh, and you're using your intellect to do it. I'm also getting that you're looking for equal give and take. And for those of you that you, you feel as though it's not something you want to stay in or you want to leave the relationship to go to another relationship, you'll be free to do so. So it's sort of a reading that turns out no matter how you turn it, it looks like a tough transition Capricorn, but one in which you have been anxiously awaiting. Let's look at the sacred destiny cards for you and see what your outcome is, some additional outcome cards here. What do we see for our beautiful Capricorns? Capricorn. Okay. Delight. Oh, beautiful. So really enjoying yourself. Look at this purification. Oh, getting rid of the toxicity. Working. Some of you might be going on a retreat of some sort. Illumination. There we are. You're really being sincere, Cancer. I mean, Cancer, Capricorn. I'm just seeing that you're going to achieve whatever it is that you're seeking at this time in a relationship. You will transcend 
the difficulties and move forward in the way that best suits you, that allows you to have happiness and joy again, either with one another or without one another. So that is the message that I have, Capricorn. I hope it was helpful. In the meantime, enjoy a beautiful vacation.